Hey gang, uh, happy Easter weekend. It is John's Kitchen. There's my son. There, or I was going to say, there's me. I should say proper English. Here's me. Moi. <laughs> it is I. <laughs> the Johnster. <laughs> it is, um, it's April. Uh, uh, thanks, Toronto, for the calendar. Actually, I was a little late. I usually get nicer calendars than the Toronto recycling calendar, but um, I kind of forgot. <laughs> so, and by the time I went to, um, that was last year's uh, really nice photos. I got that from Dollarama. By the time I got the Dollarama in January, they ran out, so I'm just using this one. And Yeah, anyway, so anyways, whatever. Uh, I'm a little long-winded. So it's April and we'll be Saturday. Uh, tomorrow's Easter. Um, I've got my pork meal, but anyways, uh, the po point of this vlog, this is a cooking vlog. So I'm going to show anyone who's interested, uh, how to make roasted almonds, uh, with hickory, how should I say this? Uh, say it properly, H how to make hickory smoked roasted almonds. Now I've already roasted some pepitas, pumpkin seeds. Uh, these I buy at a really nice Indian store in uh, in uh, uh, Queen and Jameson, where I live. I live in Parkdale, uh, part of Toronto. Uh, by the way, that's all That's all fry. See all that, all that stuff? This is where I should paint. This is why, I, see, it is my kitchen. I'll fry if I want to. And honestly, the only thing about frying is uh, there's a lot of splatter. So uh, just in case you're wondering with these cooking videos, this is not Martha Stewart's kitchen. I've said this before. This is John Thomas's kitchen. <laughs> And uh, I should rightfully paint every year because <laughs> I fry so much because I like olive oil. Okay, it's all about the oil. So if you can, I'm going to be quiet. Listen to them crackle. So these pepitas, okay, I've roasted for about 25 minutes, about uh, 400 degrees. And what I do is I spread them on the baking sheet. I put oil in the raw and then I'll spoon it. To mix them up and then i'll take them out maybe two or three times to check them so i'm always checking them so you're always stirring them you're turning your pan around do a 180 so to make sure they cook evenly and they'll come out really nicely and then i use this salt i'm really into this himalayan uh salt um it's got a lot of minerals it's pink you know pink salt and it's got uh, well it tastes like salt like but it's got a lot of nat natural goodness in it uh, some of this uh, crappy salt, I only use sea salt uh, because um, some of the health people that I follow on YouTube, I think uh, Thomas Delure, who's amazing, uh, Dr. Eric Berg, who's also amazing, have, um, there's a lot of evils about um, uh, regular table salt that has different chemicals that are really bad for you, really bad for your blood pressure. Always use natural ingredients, you know. I'm 53, so I'm all about... I want to live to 110 and I want to be able body, you know, and so it's all about just taking care of your body. So that's my motto right now. So for the almonds, what we're going to do is I'm going to coat this with olive oil. We're going to heat this up in the oven. It'll, they'll probably bake for about 20 to 25 minutes. And in the end, when they're done, this is called liquid, um, oh God, uh, liquid uh, natural hick hickory smoke flavor. So the smoke flavor is in this water base. I'm actually not quite sure how they make this. I've been buying this for years. When I used to be a chef, I guess I still am a chef because I'm tapered, but when I used to work in professional kitchens, I used to make soups with this. This stuff is amazing. I think this is the same brand I used to buy. And I bought this from uh, Metro for $4. And this for the almonds that we're going to do uh, will last for like four trays at least. Eh? So anyways, I'm going to come back and you're going to see uh, what's going on uh, when they come out of the oven the first time. Um, so I'll take a pause and we'll be back. Okay, so I just wanted to come back. So I've just I've just coated it with olive oil. So if you can see there, the almonds are nice and shiny now. And I'm not shy with olive oil. Like I'm not drowning them in the oil, but you want to get them covered because the, the um, the oil, the way a heat, uh, let's say this, uh, the oil is a conductor. It helps it, uh, cook things evenly. Like if you were to dry roast them, they won't come out as, 
Actually, I've never seen her dry roast them without oil, actually, so I don't know how they would come out. Uh, but I'm a fan of fat, okay? Natural fats and olive oil is a good fat. So we're going to pop these in the oven. Okay, so here they go. Into the oven they go. Okay. And then, again, so it's at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, Celsius. You can Google that, as you always do. And uh, these will take, in the oven, about... Um, I'd say 20 to 30 minutes, and we're gonna take them out two or three times. Uh, we're gonna give them the stir, blah, blah, blah. And in the end, when they're nicely, evenly cooked, we're gonna put them on the stove top, and we're gonna put this, we're gonna spritz this on it, okay? And they'll steam. And I guess actually the last time I made it, um, so before, for the last five or 10 minutes of cooking, we'll cook it with the liquid smoke in the end when they're kind of roasted. So we'll come back for that, okay? Um, and we'll be back soon. Okay, kids, uh, these almonds have now been in the oven. I just took them out. Uh, they've been in for about 10 minutes. Now, the problem is uh, eventually I will get a, a tripod, um, but I'm gonna try and do this one-handed. So you wanna stir them. Okay, give them a stir. And these are about 20 minutes, maybe. Like, I basically go by a color, okay? I'm not the most... Uh, you know, it's not like in 20 minutes, you, then you put the uh, liquid smoke, okay? In 15 minutes, then you put the liquid smoke. It's when you sort of feel you want to, okay? Um, a, a good way of finding out when your almonds are ready are by taking one and biting into them. If, they're in the, if I was to bite into this, this isn't quite cooked, it's the roasting that I wanted to. Um, uh, it'll look roasted inside, it'll, have a, it'll be hot inside. Actually, hard to describe, actually. So I'm going to um, stir these around. I'm going to stir them around better because I can't really do it one <laughs> And I'm going to put them back in the oven. And the next time I take these out, uh, we're going to add the uh, liquid smoke. Okay, and you're going to see it, watch it steam. And it's really cool. And then we'll pop them back in the oven. And then in the end, we'll finish it with the Himalayan salt. Okay, so we'll be back soon for roasting. How to roast hickory smoked almonds. I'm gonna say that nicely for the title. How to smoke, how to make, yes, how to make hickory smoked almonds. Yes, and that's my title. Okay, so we'll be back. Okay, kids, we are back. And these almonds now, uh, this is the third time I've taken them out. Uh, so um, uh, I didn't film the last time I rotated the pan and I stirred them. So if you can hear that, and if you could smell that, they smell amazing. But now, but we are doing hickory smoked almonds. So now, so this is one way of doing it. If you just want to stop here, you can start salting them. You can roast them a little more, it's your discretion. But we're doing the hickory uh, smoked uh, almonds. And so we're gonna use something called liquid smoke, which is amazing, by the way. So this brand is called Woodland. So uh, I got the English style. They actually don't know French, even though I Grew up in Canada in the bilingual country, uh, but um, that's a long story where I didn't learn it. I learned uh, Spanish because uh, me vacaciones de Mexico, de Ciudad La Puebla in 1996 for dos semanas, and I love Spanish. And because of Ernie love back in the 70s, uh, my mother, my friends didn't like the fact that they were going to separate. It's 1976 now when I was 10. And uh, because of that, I stopped learning French, uh, so I apologize. Uh, that's why I did the uh, switcheroo to the English side. But uh, don't get me wrong, uh, uh, because uh, French is a beautiful language, so <laughs> I just never learned it. So it's un peu petit français, um, as I break off into a tangent. So anyways, uh, so let's do this. So you spritz this in. Try and hit this. And how much are you using? Not too much. <laughs> How's that for accurate? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so basically, when you're looking at the pan, you don't want to have like a coat. You just want to coat it, okay? And you're gonna get a little bit of sizzle, okay? And just like real smoke, some of this is gonna start affecting your eyes because the heat, it's gonna steam start steaming it and if I was to stand directly over it oh god you just inhale it you get that smoky um, it's like inhaling smoke basically although it's steam 
and it's got a beautiful flavor. So you add a little more, and then we're gonna finish roasting it because this is gonna evaporate, right? I should try and get this centered, right? Okay, so that was that much for that tray. Use your discretion. I don't know, tablespoon, ta two tablespoons. You're the boss, okay? You'll decide what you wanna do. Because ultimately that's what cooking is, hey? Eh? You, uh, it's your discretion. And that smells lovely, let me tell you. I'm gonna put this back in the oven. And we're gonna basically, that that liquid has gotta evaporate and that's gonna take about, um, about, let's say five minutes, okay? So in five minutes time, we're gonna take it out of the oven and we're gonna take our beautiful Himalayan salt. I love Himalayan salt. And it was, I think it was Thomas Delure uh, that started talking about this. He's got his own YouTube channel. He's an amazing health guru. So you should check him out. He is amazing. Uh, but I actually first saw this in uh, Dollarama, not this brand, um, but uh, this is from Metro. And uh, Metro's got a lot of great deals, actually, Metro, formerly Dominion. But anyways, I'm bringing it up into a tangent. So uh, we'll come back uh, we'll, and I'll show you the final product when we spritz it with the salt or sprinkle it with the salt or as Emil Lagasse goes, remember him? Bam! <laughs> but when you do the salt, you gotta go bam, 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 <laughs> like this. Anyways, we'll be back to finish this off. Okay, we're gonna come back to uh, finish these almonds off. So I'm gonna take them out of the oven. So the interesting thing about these things, uh, when you cook with liquid cookery smoke, this smoky, this, the steam hits you. Okay, so they're done. All the uh, liquid is evaporated. Okay, they're just ready to be salted now. Okay, so I've got a broken oven, so I've got to adjust it so it doesn't flop open. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's that's hot, by the way. <laughs> so this was so they spent the whole time at 400 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, and uh, so let's see, I'm gonna spritz it. I'm gonna spritz it with one hand. It's kind of a bowl, so I can actually do this properly. So this reminds me of Shetland. We used to usually have little bowls. And we take it, we pinch it. Now I'm right-handed, so I can't do a proper bam, bam. Bam! Bam! <laughs> but anyways, I'm, I'm more of a sprinkler, eh? Like, I'm not, I'm not Emerald, God bless him, who is an amazing, amazing guy, amazing man, amazing chef. And he's a really friendly guy. I used to watch him in the, um, I guess it was the late 90s that I used to watch him, and uh, early 2000s, back when I still had uh, TV, because right now, that's when everything was analog and TV was free, now it's all... Digital. I never upgraded, so now. But, but honestly, with um, what do you call it? YouTube and and the internet and my cell phone. I've got three of them now, just because of uh, as I keep collecting them and I have Wi-Fi. So basically, they just became another viewing platform. And so that's it. Anyway, so um, I'm starting to have a lot. So basically, that's it. These are that's so simply simply put. That's how you do um, homemade uh, from scratch. Uh, except, except I haven't grown. Uh, except I don't have almond trees, so the, the almonds are, you know, I bought uh, for eight dollars a pound at a, a beautiful supermarket in Parkdale, which is a really great price. It's in Indian Mart at uh, Queen and Jameson. They have a lot of uh, amazing products. I bought the uh, pumpkin seeds there too. Um, so, but this seed, uh, this video is more about uh, how to roast uh, almonds and how to flavor them with a uh, uh, hickory smoke, and. Um, that is the cooking vlog for April 11th, um, Easter weekend, uh, unfortunately the COVID edition uh, condition, uh, continues as um, it's, it's really sad that, uh, you know, but um, that I'm have to talk about some of these vlogs uh, and mention, as I just sort of pan my apartment, um, that I'm mentioning that. Uh, in these, even a cooking vlog, but I, I, but I do want to reference a point of reference when I do look back at this in the future, uh, in, the, in, in the future, I guess, um, that, uh, that I was doing all this, uh, during a global pandemic. So, uh, someone on Instagram was uh, saying, uh, what, what are you guys up to? So I'll, I'll, I'm going to go off on a tangent for my cooking vlog. I've been doing this, which is kind of cool. I've been doing, um, so she said her name is Alexander. She's really cool. Uh, 
lady, she's an artist, and she did a post. She said, what are you guys up to uh, during uh, your stay-at-home time? Because I'm staying at home way more than I uh, usually do. Uh, I think I posted back. I'm uh, putting up shelf paper in my cupboards, which I am doing. <laughs> but that's... Uh, Actually, I sort of should have remembered this because this is a little more interesting. I love, I've been doing this for years, years, ever since I uh, got my first place. Someone told me, just get some wine bottles or liquor bottles. I want to do this with a vodka bottle and just burn candles, burn them slow. I put foil so I don't make a huge mess on my table. And uh, that's one thing. And that's it. Also, I'm going to do a little post to Instagram too. Again, uh, beg for viewers. Uh, by the way, there's a shot of the shelf paper. And I only have one, two, three, four, five. Actually, I just have to do the rest. <laughs> I love Dollar Rainbow because I got this for cheap. I think it's like two bucks. And I just have to do the rest of them. And I, eventually I will do the rest of them. Although it is uh, boring. <laughs> but I, I guess eventually I will do that. Um, I do want to thank you to... I, did get two subscribers. Uh, thank you to Alex Purcell, who's an amazing guitar player. He subscribed to my uh, channel. I miss watching you. Uh, you're an incredible guitarist. Um, I love your band, Tenshi. I love watching you guys. You're just virtuous. Is the way you just sort of like, just, I love people that just close their eyes and just go, <laughs> and it's magic the way it comes out. Just magical music. And I miss going to those open mics. Um, the Painted Lady in particular in the B-Side Lounge, uh, where I've seen many, many amazing artists. Um, okay, I'm rambling. So this is the end of this uh, cooking vlog where we did the, uh, we did the almonds, uh, specifically. I, and I briefly uh, just explained how you roast uh, pumpkin seeds. They're very easy. Uh, same methodology, uh, 400 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. And um, so I guess I'll end at that and I'll say uh, God bless everyone. And... Um, Keep vigilant in this time of COVID-19. Remember social distancing. Um, and be, you know, this is going to be a long-term thing. Hopefully some of the restrictions be lessened by the summer. Uh, so many people have lost their jobs, uh, which I feel for. I'm thankful that I still have my job just in, in, because of the industry that I'm working in. And um, that's it. So uh, John Thomas, over and out. Uh, and, oh yeah, self-promotion. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to do a little self-promotion here. Why not? Okay. Uh, and I'll probably do this on Instagram. There's my little card. Now I know. I know. That's my face. This is what I got to deal with. See, I'm not, I'm not good looking. I've got the ugly face. So I got to deal with this every morning. So I apologize for my face. But my channel is not about me vlogging. Well, there's a lot of vlogs. Actually, let me show you my channel. That's my channel on my cell phone and what you want to do is you want to hit the subscribe I got 49 I think 49 was Alex God bless you Alex for thank you again and I want you to hit the playlist and this is what it's on it I got 149 I got some of the uh, bicycle vlogs I got the vlogs and the cooking vlogs so I'll upload the uh, almond thing later but I want to show you uh, a great song and hopefully Alexander doesn't mind me playing her. Oh, whoops, that's not the song I wanted to play. What a very sensitive keyboard here. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so uh, bear with me. Bear with me. <laughs> the cooking vlog has taken a tangerine. <laughs> that's a cool term for tangent that I learned from a radio host who's dyslexic. And I think he said tangerine by mistake. Jim Richards from Newstock 1010, who I used to listen to eons ago, and I barely listen to now because um, I work. <laughs> but this is my favorite song of Alexandra's. And this is the only way I can show it. So check this out. This is why you should get my channel for awesome music like this.
Okay, so that's a teaser. So if you want to hear the full song, subscribe to my channel. I believe I recorded that in, um, in uh, I believe it was 2018. It was 2018 in October or November uh, of that year. And at a venue called The Painted Lady, which is an amazing, amazing music venue in Toronto. My city, I love my city, Toronto, Canadian. Can't you, can't you tell I like Canada? <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, yeah again that's it for the vlog uh, please subscribe to my channel 149 videos of amazing local artists mostly local artists there's a couple of famous people on there but it's mostly local artists performing original songs um, uh, original songs um, um, I can't articulate it all <laughs> They're, they're playing their own stuff, okay? And they're playing it live at open mics, mostly. Uh, and I went to a few of their gigs, too. So there's a few of those uh, mixed in. Mostly open mics, though. It's just uh, just amazing local artists who all should be famous, and they should all be making millions of dollars uh, because they deserve it, because they're just true artists. So, again, uh, once again, God bless. Uh, John Thomas over and out. And um, have a great day, and happy Easter. Peace.